everybody always says if you tried your best that's all that matters the best is all you can do if you tried your best it doesn't matter what happens it doesn't matter if you lose if you tried your best most people have heard that before but there is a secret to the universe that most don't know if you actually try your best you can't lose not pretend to try your best not try the best, not try your best 90% of the time, not try your best with excuses. If you genuinely try your best all of the time, all day, every day, it's impossible to lose. So when people say, if you tried your best, it's okay to lose, that is a logic fail. Because if you lost, you didn't try your best in the first place. If you actually try your best, it is impossible to fail in this life. God is watching and he rewards those who want it the most. If you want it the most, you can have it. It's a competition. Every dollar you want, the house you want, the car you want, other people want. You have to win. You have to want it the most and genuinely do your best because most people aren't capable of doing their best anymore. To get up every day, whether they feel like it or not, and perform regardless. That is the secret. You cannot fail if you try your best. So if you don't have the car you want, the woman you want, the relationship you want, the friends you want, the house you want, you haven't been trying your best because I guarantee you the second you do, you'll have all of it. I believe there's only three reasons people are not rich. One of three reasons. They're either stupid, arrogant, or lazy. Stupid is actually the smallest category. Mm. People think, oh, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. There are, but I know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money, right? There's so much money in the world. Mm. To be too stupid to generate money, I think is less than 5% of the population. We're really? genuinely too dumb to ever make a good wage. Then you have arrogant and lazy, and these are the two most common. Lazy because people just, oh, you know, but I need time to myself. Oh, you know, but it's the evening. Or, you know, it's hyper competitive. There are people who do not need times to themselves. There are people, there's an Indian in Islamabad, or there's a guy in Islamabad who'll do your job online for $3 an hour and he doesn't sleep. Mm. You're, you're going to lose, right? So if you're going to be lazy in any regard, you have to understand there are people like me who are billionaires who work 18 hours a day. When I finish this, I get into my car, I open my laptop, and I walk on my way to my next appointment work all night till the day I go. When I go to sleep, I close my laptop and I'm asleep in the middle. I work. That's all I do. Lazy is a big problem because people go, oh, but I just want to relax. If you just want to relax, that's fine. Mm. But you're competing against people who just don't want to relax. You're going to lose. And the last, and I'd say that's around, a lot of people have that element to them. A lot of people are lazy. That's about 50% of people. But the main reason people are not rich is because they're arrogant. If you were to take somebody who says, I'm doing my best, I'm really trying and you were to get uh, an exact schedule of their last week mm -hmm. and find all the times they've wasted time, you'd say, look, you've wasted time, wasted time, wasted time, wasted time. You know what's actually amazing? Most of those people are not even self-reflective enough to go, you're right, I'm not trying that best. Mm -hmm. You know what they'd say? Well, I have to rest sometimes. Mm -hmm. well, I, well, I have to have a social life. Well, I, they'd be so arrogant, because mm -hmm. they're arrogant. I had to do my Facebook. Yeah, yeah. No matter, you'd even show them, here's where you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I have to, oh, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. And then they go back to being a loser. A lazy person thinks he's working too hard, and a successful person thinks he isn't working hard enough. Mm -hmm. And we're doing 20 times the work they are. And mm -hmm. we're like, oh, I could have done more, could have done this, oh, I missed that today, can't miss that again. Da -da, oh, I should have taken that call, I should have flown there. I should have, that's, you know, we have guilt about it. They don't mm -hmm. give a solitary fuck. And even if you pointed it out to them, they'd sit there and go, oh yeah, and they'd make some excuse for it. It's, it's the brutal arrogance of people. Perhaps 50, 60 years ago, you could be a normal man with a normal job, have a normal life and a normal wife and a normal house and a normal car and be happy. But the world we are now living in is proving that being a normal man is nothing more than slavery. Being a normal law-abiding citizen with a normal income and a normal wage and one passport and a normal wife is going to leave you depressed. Sooner or later, it's just going to leave you and end up fucking suicidal and miserable. This is what I don't understand about people, especially men in the world today. Why are they say, so worried about being afraid? Why are they so worried about, I was afraid every time I fought. Yeah. I fought anyway. Yeah. Like I don't let fear guide what I'm gonna do. I do what I'm supposed to do regardless of how I feel. So I don't see anything wrong with feeling fearful. I don't see anything wrong with feeling stressed or under pressure or anxious. All these things men are trying to get rid of. And I talk about men specifically. I gender this because I'm a man. I don't know how it feels to be a woman. But all these things that people are trying very hard to get rid of from their brains, I don't see why they need to leave. I will argue the point that if I feel anxious and pressured and stressed and fearful, I will get more done than if I was happy. I think if I was happy, I'd just be hedonistic and just wasting my time. I think that you get a whole bunch done with these negative connotations and negative emotions. And I think that life is suffering and pain and you're here to go through it. And, you're, and that sooner you get used to the taste, 
the more successful you're gonna be. I have no interest in trying to change the flavor, my friend. The flavor of life is pain, and I will eat all of it. And it doesn't matter if they put me back in jail or not. I, I'm not sitting there going, how can I be happy in jail? I will sit in jail and say, yes, this sucks, it's supposed to suck. Yes, I'm not enjoying this. Yes, I'm anxious and paranoid. And yes, that guy might stab me. And yes, I can't sleep and I miss my family. And this is what's supposed to happen to me. And this is how I become the best man I could possibly be. And I'm gonna succeed regardless. So if you're not the person who's waking up every day going, how do I improve my existence? Then nobody is. Mm. Nobody on the planet is considering improving your one spin on Earth. No one else cares. Nobody else cares. So if you don't care, then you're fucked. So you need to wake up and care. And it's amazing to me. Like you're saying, how did I find my mentors? I just tried a bunch of them. Like when I had no money, I would try very hard to I'd listen to lots of different people or I'd try different things. And I wasn't, I wasn't scared to invest in myself because I understand that, look, if he's taking time out of his life, then I need to reward him for it financially. Mm. And I tried very hard and I listened and I paid attention and I was never lazy. I don't believe there's a person on the planet who pays attention, tries their best, is never lazy, is on time, works hard, has a mentor, and is giving it his all, who isn't rich. I don't believe it. I think that if you do all those things, you're rich. And if you don't have any money, you're missing one of those key elements. Now you can fool yourself and you can fool everyone else and you can pretend you're doing them, but if you're truly honest with yourself, am I finding people who are trying to teach me what I wanna know and am I trying my best? And the answer is fucking no every time. For you to become rich and successful is gonna require pain and suffering. And you have to understand exactly what your dream life is to make the pain and suffering worthwhile. Think about it. Have you ever been to the gym and seen a person in fantastic physical condition? They're strong, they're ripped, they're large. And you say to them, how did you get so big and strong? And they say, I don't know. Oops, it kind of just happened. Or have you ever found a really rich man or a very successful man and said, how did you become rich and successful? And he goes, I don't know, bro. I just woke up one day and it kind of happened and now I'm living my dream life. No, there is a very detailed plan and roadmap. For you to become strong, you must eat a certain way. You must train a certain way. For you to become rich, you must earn money a certain way. You must understand exactly how you're going to make money, whether you're going to be a public-facing figure like me or a man of the shadows with millions of dollars, unknown, but extremely powerful. You have to design your dream life. What house are you going to live in? Who's your woman going to be? Is she blonde? Is she brunette? What car are you going to drive? Have you even gone on the internet and specced your car? You can design your dream car right now for free on the internet and you can choose the color, you can choose the wheels, you can choose the car. Is it a Lamborghini? Is it a Ferrari? Is it a McLaren? How much does it cost to the dollar? You talk about your dream life. You don't even know what your dream life is. How do you expect to get to a destination when you don't know where you're going? The last thing I am is a hater. If you make a bunch of money and you pull it next to me in a Lambo, I'm going to be the guy who shakes your hand and says, gee, boom, you escaped the matrix. Congratulations. Welcome to the free world. That makes me happy. I want all of you to win. I'm not a hater. I'm not out here hoping I get to win and you lose. If you lose, you deserve to lose because you didn't take action. If you take action, you will win. 